Well, all right, everyone. Guess where we have made it to. The Arctic Circle. All right, well, it happened again. We walked into the trailer after a big day of driving and there's dust absolutely everywhere again. <laughs> okay, so literally 12 minutes before we get to the finish line, we get a light saying something's wrong with the traction control system. And yeah. Steering assist fault service required. Okay, now we just got another one. What is a steering assist fault? Hey everyone, we're Dana and Mike. We've been living life on the road with our three dogs searching for our adventure. We are currently on the road headed up north with our end goal to see the Arctic Ocean. Join us every Sunday for new videos as we show you amazing campsites and the stunning natural beauty of North America. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Good morning from the craziness of what we look like when we wake up in the morning. My hair is all sticking up. <laughs> it's not as bad as mine. <laughs> Today is a stunning day here in the Yukon and the weather outside is so nice. I was just about to say there were no bugs this morning when we went out, but they're starting to come <laughs> now. So hopefully they don't bother me, but look. I don't know, this area is just so nice. We're about to have breakfast and then continue our drive, but when we do continue our drive, everything is gonna start getting flatter. So, really gotta take in these views before, you know, the scenery really, really changes. Yeah, we get further north, I can't believe it. Today we are hoping to get to the Arctic Circle and man, that's just gonna be so crazy. That's like the furthest north we have ever been. We're like almost gonna be on the top of the world. Yeah, so, so cool. Yeah, join us, we're gonna have a quick breakfast and yeah, then hit the road. And so cross your fingers that everything holds up with the trailer and we make it to the north. Hi, Calvin, you already had your breakfast. Yes, you did. Let's not let in too many bugs. How are you feeling this morning, Mike? Oh, guys, it was a little hard to sleep. Oh, right. right. <laughs> we were on a slight angle, and Mike uh, was so concerned about blood pooling okay. in our brains. Okay. <laughs> like, we're like tilted this way right now, leaning downwards, because we didn't level out the trailer. So I didn't want to sleep, like, basically, almost... If I had slept, it if I slept like this, it would have been almost like I'm upside down. My head is way lower than my legs right now. It's not way. He's exaggerating. <laughs> and we slept the other way, but it wasn't really that that made the sleep hard or anything. It's just that <clears throat> now that we're here up in the north, uh, the sun just literally doesn't set anymore. Oh, right. Yeah, it, it totally doesn't even set at all. There is 24 hours sunlight here this far up north. So yeah, it's, it's a little tough because we can't black out the trailer completely. Yeah. So there's always a little bit of light. It just gets kind of, yeah, it's a little tough. We should have gotten like eye masks or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just kind of prepping to leave, putting everything away. We just taking some precautions, like we put all of our plates and stuff like that on the bed instead of up there in the cabinet, because that could fly open. Oh, they just, already yeah. have. In the oh past. yeah, they had they have in the past. That's why we started doing this. So, but yeah, everything is looking okay. You ready to go? Go see the Arctic Ocean. Well, that's in the next day, but tomorrow, today, we see the Arctic Circle. All right, so we're just kind of keeping track of how long we've been on the Dempster. We're about 132 kilometers in. Yeah, there's stuff to see coming up. We have this, we got this booklet map that shows where all the cool stops are along the way. So the next one's not for a little while. There's a viewpoint at 259 kilometers. Right. So yeah. Maybe we'll check that out. We check that out, keep an eye out. Mm -hmm. Here we go, Dempster Highway, day two. While we're driving, 
driving on this highway, it really makes me think about how beautiful this area is and how like the world was meant to be like this. Nature was meant to flourish and there's just something so special about being in the wild and I don't know, Earth was just truly meant to be like this and I'm so glad to be experiencing it because yeah, this is just stunning. When you're driving this road, truly drive it slow because this whole road so far has just been breathtaking. Most of the time when we do road trips, we're just like, get to your destination. And like, honestly, this road, the whole thing is the destination. So really take it in and don't rush through this section. Yeah, it's really making me feel today. I'm like, wow, I can't believe that I'm here. Well, here comes the dust. Man, that's really thick today. <laughs> I can't see anything behind me. Like if anybody was behind me, I would have no clue. <laughs> So we're going through a big long stretch of tons of potholes and ruts again. So, and in sections like this, like you don't always see them coming. Even like I'm going like 30 kilometers an hour right now. And sometimes these potholes will just kind of sneak up on you out of nowhere. And then you either stop in time or you don't, right? Sometimes you just hit them. So yeah, definitely got to be on your toes for all of this drive, I guess. <laughs> but we're making pretty good progress. We're about 238 kilometers in now. There should be like a viewpoint coming up in the next 20 or so. So hopefully that's cool. Alrighty, we've stopped at Ogilvy viewpoint, which is kilometer 259. Yeah, we climbed up this huge mountain to get up here, but I think the view is pretty sweet. Yeah, nice. You can just see the whole valley beneath us here. Crazy. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that crow is huge. That's like one of the biggest crows I've ever seen. It's almost the same size as one of our dogs, I wanna say. <laughs> All right, we got at least another hour and a half to go. And yeah, hoping to make it a little bit past Eagle Plains today. So the scenery from that viewpoint that we were just at is definitely changing since the last time we were in the mountains. Everything is starting to kind of flatten out just, to, just very gradually. And the road here actually kind of reminds me of the top of the world highway, not the conditions of the road, but the fact that we are kind of on the top of the highest peaks here. And yeah, definitely, definitely beautiful. All right, we are almost at 300 kilometers on this road. So 300 kilometers is about a third of the way there. Yeah. But in reality, it's not because we also have to come all the way back. So really it's like one sixth of the way there. <laughs> Okie dokie everyone. We are one or two minutes away from Eagle Plains, which is actually the very first service area on the Dempster Highway. So we're gonna get some gas, yes? Yeah, yeah, good call. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, this first portion of the trip took about half a tank. Is that where it's at? Or is it under half a tank? Uh, we're just under half a tank. We're just under half a tank, so not too bad. Yeah, we've driven about 371 kilometers. So, yeah. Um, yeah, this, is, this isn't this is like the halfway point or anything. No. It's about 100 kilometers shy of the halfway point, but it's a good stopping point for sure, just to resupply up, get gas, like Dana said. The and next service after Eagle Plains is like 163 kilometers. So it, you really should just get gas here and get gas at almost every other place that you can. 
just to be safe, right? Yeah, it's been a long day. We've been driving about six and a half hours today, so yeah, pretty, pretty tired. Yeah. <laughs> We're probably gonna call it soon, but we're gonna gas here and then drive a little bit farther and hopefully find a camp spot for the night. mini tornado in front of us. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I've never seen one go for that long before. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> we are done getting gas here at Eagle Plains. And yeah, if you guys remember yesterday when we ran into that couple that had the same RV as us, they told us that this is where it starts getting really bad. So this is where they got their tires popped, it was along this stretch coming up. And I did some reading online and the reason is because the gravel that they used for this highway is all called shale. Problem with that is that it gets worn down to like points. So there's a lot of like sharp sections that you might have to go over. And then this is the part where a lot of people just get flat tires and things like that. So wish us luck. Hopefully we make it through this. We're not going that far today down this bad part because we're just going to go find a campsite now. But we might run into a little bit of it today, but probably a lot more tomorrow. Well, all right, everyone. Guess where we have made it to. The Arctic Circle. Awesome, guys. We have made it officially to the Arctic Circle. This is really, really awesome. So basically we are, we started all the way down here. We're basically here now. Uh, this map is a little old. It only shows the dumps are going all the way to Inuvik, but we still have to go to Tuk Toyotuk. So still not even halfway. <laughs> <laughs> we got like 50 more kilometers. Until we're halfway. we're halfway, yeah. Land of the midnight sun. So during the summer, uh, the sun never goes below the horizon line ever <laughs> cool all right so we're done here and we're gonna go and find a campsite now for the evening uh so far the road after eagle plains hasn't been bad i'm guessing we just haven't hit like the bad spots yet that we were warned about but yeah in any case we're pretty done with driving today let's go find a campsite in 400 meters your destination will be on the left we are approaching our campsite for the night just a spot that Dana found on I Overlander. But I mean, if we get these sort of views around us, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. We're only like two minutes from the Arctic Circle sign where we just were, so should be similar views. Ah. Oh, it's nice. Oh, wow, nice. Okay, get the main <laughs> view right there. This is a pretty darn nice spot. Hopefully we are level enough. It's the one downfall to, uh, you know, keeping hitched the entire time. But uh, yeah, check out our views. We are literally like three minutes from the Arctic Circle. And yeah, lovely. Look at that. We are both gonna grab a shower because we're both Real sweaty messes. <laughs> I'd like to look amazing for the Arctic Ocean. <laughs> yeah, before we set out heading up the Dempster Highway, we only had about a third full water tank. So most of that's gone now after the last few days. So I'm gonna throw in our extra five gallon jugs and hopefully that'll be enough for us to have a shower and do all the stuff that we need to do until we can <clears throat> find more water. Um, so. And then we'll dump in Inuvik. Inuvik. Yeah, we're planning on to dump in Inuvik 
and get more water there. So which should be either tomorrow. Yeah, I'm hoping it's yeah. tomorrow. Inovic for sure. I don't yeah. know about top. Oh, I see. Okay. Sorry, yeah. Okay, so we're going to shower here because we're going to dump in Inuvik tomorrow. So it should be fine to shower here and use some water. And then tomorrow we'll just kind of replenish what we got. But we didn't really want to tow with full fresh water tank for this trip just because that's an unnecessary oh. risk in our opinion. And, and apparently there's water everywhere. Yeah, so. apparently finding water is not hard yeah. up here anyway. So, but in any case, welcome to our campsite for the night. It's beautiful. It's really stinking hot in here, actually. So it's <laughs> well, it's yeah. that heat wave we were yeah, learning yeah. about. Yeah, so I'm a sweaty mess. So shower yeah. will feel great, and maybe even some AC action later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys, all freshly showered now. I'm just gonna hang out for a little while, eat some food. I gotta get some editing done. Yeah, I actually really surprised at how little dust is in here after you know everything that we've been through. We basically just drove through dust nonstop today, and. I'm impressed. It's nice to not have to clean it every single day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like all we need to do when we come in here is just kind of give the counter a wipe. And one place that did get dusty is inside this pantry. The fridge is right next to it. And there's a hole from the back fridge vent area into this pantry storage area. So the, whatever dust is hitting the vents outside at the back of the fridge, get in there anyway. So not a big deal. I just kind of give my chips a wipe before I open the bag, so. Yeah. <laughs> I think we are going to call it for today. We will see you guys tomorrow as we continue on the Dempster Highway. Fingers crossed we get through the hard section which is coming up. So yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. is day three today of the Dempster Highway. We are planning to try to make it all the way to Inuvik today. So that's about a 300 plus kilometer trek. It'll be the longest one day distance that we've done on the Dempster Highway so far. So we'll see if we do it. Yeah, yeah, because it's already like almost 11.30 and it takes a really long time to go that kind of distance on the Dempster. I think we have started to hit the rougher section of the road. A lot of the gravel that we're rolling over now are like these big sharp rocks that are just chunky and they're kind of like sticking up all over the place. And there's some sections there's, there's just like a ton of this loose rock. So I can see why this is where some people might start getting flat tires and things like that. So yeah, hopefully nothing like that happens to us. But, but you know what, Hon quite honestly, I I've been thinking this for the last couple of days, like the universe kind of owes us one. Like with <laughs> all the crap that we've gone through on this trip, all the things that have gone wrong, for us to be able to do our end goal here, the Dempster Highway to the Arctic Ocean with no hiccups at all, like that's pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna drive our way really slowly through this stuff. This is the make or break moments, you know. <laughs> We are at 450 kilometers now. So that basically means we are officially halfway on the Dempster Highway. It's only taken three days so far. <laughs> Alrighty, we are back in the Northwest Territories. Well, yeah, we were there, whew, seems like a long time ago now, honestly, but it was, I guess, a month and a half ago, two months ago kind of thing. Yeah. We had a really great time there, but now we have crossed back into it because that's where you need to go to finish this journey to the Arctic Ocean. And speaking of which, Arctic Ocean, 415 kilometers left, halfway there. We got this. Yeah, that's where we're headed to Tuk Toyuk Tuk. But yeah, guys, we are getting close for sure. The end is in sight. <laughs> <laughs> that we have crossed over into Northwest Territories. 
hope I'm not jinxing us by saying this, but it seems like the road has gotten quite a bit better. It's still gravel, but it's a lot smoother and we're actually going like 60, 65 kilometers an hour now instead of the usual 30. So yeah, I'm hoping this holds up because that would really help us making up some time today and not roll into Inuvik super late. Alright everyone, we are getting closer and closer to our final destination, but we are now nearing our second ferry crossing and something special about this ferry crossing is that it actually goes over the Mackenzie River, which is the largest river in Canada and apparently the 10th largest in the world. So that's pretty darn cool. It says that the flow of the Mackenzie River draining one fifth of Canada, over 1,800,000 square kilometers is exceeded in the Western hemisphere only by the Mississippi and the Amazon. Pretty crazy. Yeah, kept it a bit today. Yeah. Here the White Horse tomorrow. Oh. I'll leave in the morning. Really? Here the White Horse in one day? No, not in one day. 16 hours. 16 hours? That's what you're going to do? Yeah. What? Let's <laughs> <laughs> go to here to Edmonton in 24. Really? <laughs> that's that's crazy. I can't even imagine. <laughs> it's taken today's day three, just Dempster for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you guys yeah. are enjoying it. Yeah, right? yeah, we're taking our time. Yeah, yeah that's right true. on. Pulling a camper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we've been on the road for a whole year, and this is our end goal. So nice. it's a big deal for us to make it to Tuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, it's magnificent. <laughs> Last spring. It all flooded, you could see where the high water mark was. Uh, oh, really? It went up that there? high? Wow, no way. What's this road like in the winter? It's good. You can drive it? <laughs> yeah. Wow. All the way to top. It used to be by ice road until it made the road. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. By ice road. Dang. Ice road is just as good as this. Really? Yeah? yeah? Well, enjoy the rest of you guys. Yeah. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, nice meeting you. Okay everyone, sorry for the loud AC, but it is very hot here. Um, I don't know what happened, but apparently our little dust seal by the door did not work this time. It is filthy in here. Mike already kind of wiped the floor, but yeah, everything is dirty. So yeah, we definitely have to do a bit of cleaning today, which um, is the first in yeah. a really long time. We got lucky for the first couple days, but not today. Yeah, <laughs> anyways, I gotta keep cleaning, but we will touch base in a little bit. We kind of forgot to introduce this campsite because of the dust and doing all the cleanup, but not bad. We're here at the shores of a lake. Inuvik is another like, we're pretty close. I think we're like 10, 15 minutes away from Inuvik. Starting to see a lot more people. There's like houses and stuff all along this lake. But we found this free little campsite on iOverlander and it's pretty nice. But yeah, like check out the view. Very nice. Worth the dust, I think. <laughs> Today is a two pizza kind of day <laughs> because we deserve it. It's been a very long day, both yeah. mentally and just physically. No, yeah, well, it's just been a long day. Uh, I'm driving. tired, so yeah, yeah physically. physically <laughs> 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 Don't judge us. <laughs>
All right, you guys, I think we are going to call it for today. It's definitely been a day. <laughs> but that's day three in the can. Tomorrow is the big day. <laughs> No, it's fine. I'm no, just never maybe that's almost. Oh, in the bag. That's what I meant to say. I meant to say in the bag. Oh, that's, you better keep that. No. <laughs> okay, so that's day three in the bag. Stop. I like it, the <laughs> Tomorrow's the big day. Assuming nothing goes wrong, we will be arriving at the Arctic Ocean in Tuk Toyuk Tuk tomorrow. Hopefully, not too late in the day, and hopefully, we make it there in one piece. But yeah, guys, we will catch you back on the road tomorrow for day four, the final day. Finish strong. Holy cow, you guys. It's pavement. Holy cow. <laughs> After three days of off-road gravel roads we have finally hit some pavement here on our last day as we are making our way into Inuvik and then on to Tuk Toyuk Tuk to the Arctic Ocean <laughs> it's just crazy oh here we are coming up to the Inuvik sign hello Inuvik this is basically the largest town up here i think yeah all right guys welcome to day four hopefully the last day hopefully it's the day that we make it to the arctic ocean assuming nothing else goes wrong but yeah it's exciting for sure it's nice to be driving on regular road again even though i know it's not gonna last very long i think it's just through the stretch into Inuvik, and then afterwards it's gonna go back to gravel but it's nice to have a little breather from that we're up a little earlier than usual today. We're already on the road. It's only 8.30 or so. We gotta go to Inuvik and get some errands done. And then we'll be continuing up north and making it to our final destination of Tuk Toyuk Tuk and finally see the Arctic Ocean. Man, the trailer's not even regular dirty anymore. This is like advanced dirty <laughs> oh talk about pricey gas it's 225 a liter up here all right here we go tuk toyuk tuk arctic ocean here we come <laughs> i think the gravel's a little wet which is very helpful because no dust that was bad yesterday. Yeah, yesterday was the worst out of every day we've driven on this road so far. Yeah. So this last stretch, the highway between Inuvik and Tuk Toyuk Tuk, this is the part where we said was only created in 2017. And so it is still relatively new. And yeah, it is all gravel but so far it's pretty smooth and we can go regular speed and it's it's beautiful out here especially the sky i'm like really liking how the sky looks right now with all these sun rays through the clouds another interesting thing about heading towards tuk toyuk tuk is that eventually there will be no more trees at some point during this drive trees just stop growing so we kind of have to be on the lookout for the last tree as they call it so maybe we'll be able to see something like that <laughs> All right, we are at the last 70 kilometer stretch and honestly, this is probably some of the roughest road we've seen like on the entirety of the Dempster. In terms of washboards, yeah. constantly being like... Uh, yeah, like, and, we, and you can't go fast at all. Yeah, it's funny how like we were warned about how early on it was gonna be really bad, but like honestly, like I feel like this is the worst part. This is pretty bad. <laughs> Come on, we must make it. There's no way that we're failing now. Not when we're so close to the end. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, so literally 12 minutes before we get to the finish line, we get a light saying something's wrong with the traction control system. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, so of course, 
me thinking that nothing was gonna go wrong. You jinxed us. I, I guess I did, and yeah. Steering assist fault service required. Okay, now we just got another one. It is a steering assist fault. We should probably pull over. Okay, so I did some Googling and usually the most common cause of this is some loose wiring around where the e-brake is. So I'm gonna take a quick look, but all this rumbling must have done something. Yeah, okay, don't turn it off, just... Hill start assist not available. We're getting all sorts of messages now. Hey. Oh, there's so many bugs in here. Oh my God, they're everywhere. Oh my God, oh my God. There's like 20 bugs in here. Oh. Okay, only two of those lights stayed on. Oh, one. Oh, it went away. I don't know, there's loose wiring somewhere. <laughs> Man, can you believe this? Ah, we literally, literally said it and we were like, oh yeah, please don't yeah. happen. And, and then it's of course like it everything happens. is going so well and literally, look, it's 10 minutes before we get to the Arctic Ocean. Ah, <laughs> <not even. laughs> I don't even know how to react right now. This is like, like this is like hilarious. Typical hilarious car. and infuriating at the same time. <laughs> I can't believe this. What? Oh my god. <laughs> In any case, we're still pushing on. We're still gonna make it there. Nothing's gonna stop us now. <laughs> Alrighty, just stopping in at the visitor center. I think this is where we get our camping pass. Holy cow, look at the trailer. That is gross. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we got our camping pass. Now, let's go to the ocean. <laughs> there it is! There's the ocean! Oh my god. That's the Arctic Ocean. Oh my god, we have finally made it to the Arctic Ocean. There's mosquitoes like you wouldn't even believe right now. It's so gross. <laughs> but look guys, we made it to the Arctic Ocean. After a whole year of travel, we have finally made it. We went from the bottom of Baja all the way to the top of Canada. Yeah. Literally. High five. <laughs> This is just so cool. <laughs> Welcome to our wonderful campsite by the Arctic Ocean. This, this place is hitting differently. This is pretty crazy. All right, you guys. So we're here. We're finally here, sitting at the Arctic Ocean. An entire year of travel has led up to this exact moment. And I don't know, I don't know what to say. This has been the greatest adventure of our entire lives. We started this journey one year ago and now we've traveled all across North America. I just feel like we've gone through so many different ups and downs and now we're we're sitting here at the literal edge of the world just looking out 
It's beautiful. So this trip for us was a lot more than just to go travel. Like a lot of people might just think like, oh, these two, they're just like wanting to travel the world and like whatever. And like a lot of the times that's like, you know, why people go and travel. And obviously we do want to see the world. That's exactly part of the reason why we want to travel. But this trip was actually like a billion times more important for us in other reasons. And I feel like these types of trips or these big giant changes that you might take in life are like a huge growing moment. And I feel like for us, this was just the best thing that could have happened for ourselves individually and ourselves like as a whole, like as a partner and like married couple. There was just so much emotion to it and I don't know. I think if you have the opportunity, no matter what change you feel you might need to make in life, do it because it literally could change your entire life. And I feel that our lives have been completely changed by this in like the better. <laughs> like I feel in like the best way. In the best way. Like this we both grew so much. We've learned so much along this trip about each other, about like living life on the road. When we first started this trip over a year ago, we, we had no idea what was in store for us. We had no idea what was gonna happen. But now we're sitting here and we've made this lifetime of memories that'll just be with us forever. The Dempster Highway, that was the absolute perfect end to something like this to have to go through one final magnificent challenge. <laughs> that was really something. And it's no joke. The Dempster Highway is no joke. It is a trek. It is, it's crazy. <laughs> the scenery is very, oh. very beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. The, it changes so dramatically. Yeah. And it's definitely something that if you have the opportunity yeah. to definitely try and go and see this highway. Thank you guys so much for tagging along on this journey. If you've been here since the beginning, you're awesome. Thanks for sticking with us week after week. Now we had some absolute wild things happen to us through the course of this past year. And we're gonna look back on it later on in life, I'm sure, and just laugh about all of this because the adventure of our lives, guys, yeah. that's not a joke. I think we're going to call it for this episode here. Thank you again for sticking around. That's like, like, come on, that's the ocean. <laughs> like, like, I don't know. Like nothing out there. There's literally nothing out there. Yeah. But the North Pole. Yeah, the North Pole, somewhere out there. And we're here. Once again, thanks so much for watching. My name's Mike. I'm Dana. Or let's just go travel, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Woot woot!